Okay, so Liberty Link soybeans, the new technology uh, introduced last year, first time there was any real significant acres. Um, very successful overall from what I could see out in the fields. We've had very good luck with Liberty Link, uh, the Liberty Link system and Ignite herbicide. Right off the bat, one of the things that Bayer asked us to do was to look at program approaches in Liberty Link soybeans. That is, incorporate other herbicides and other modes of action into this. We've been doing this for the last three years in our research program. It's much easier to have a successful Liberty Link soybean program if you incorporate some residual program up front or at least a tank mix partner very early post with Ignite. So you're going to hear me say use a residual, any residual, and I'll elaborate on that here in a little while. If you're going to make a post application, make it early. Same timing we talked about with Flexstar applies to Ignite as far as I'm concerned. It needs to go out extremely early uh, for the post shot. If you will use a good residual program and you will drill beans, you may only need one post application of Ignite in a, in a good program approach if you can get canopy closure. One thing that differentiates the Liberty Link system from the glyphosate or Roundup Ready recommendations that we just talked about is you do have two post applications of Ignite at your disposal. Whereas in the glyphosate program, we come back with the GT, with the Flexstar tank mixed with Roundup, and we're pretty much done for the year. Apply 10 to 14 days after emergence on two to three inch weeds if you want to be successful um, in the Liberty Link system. I want to share a little bit of data with you. Um, we look at Ignite alone, a single application, 80% control. This is at Widener. Go over there and put any residual under that and you bump that control up closer to 100%. And that is definitely where we want to be um, with this system. One final note on the Liberty Link system as, as Elton is standing up over there. Um, again, you look at Prefix followed by Ignite, Valor followed by Ignite at Widener. Very good. What about just a double shot of Ignite? What's that going to do? Well, if we go out and time it right, we can approach 100% control with Ignite. It can be done. I don't want to do it from a resistance standpoint. I don't think you can do it from a timing standpoint. The only difference between 75 and close to 100% control in this slide is 12 days. This application, the first application was made 12 days later than this application. So that's not a very big window to get over, say, 1,000 acres of, of soybeans. Again, this is a good system, a system that can work. Your Arkansas Soybean Podcast is a production of the University of Arkansas Division of Agriculture and was funded in part by the Arkansas Soybean Promotion Board. For more information on soybean farming in Arkansas, contact your local county extension office.